What's up guys, it's Morris from Section Store. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can install this bubble navigation from Section Store for your very own shop. Done in a few easy steps and I say we just get right into it. A few things we can do here is uh, direct it straightly to a collection or a product. I'm gonna show you in this example real quick. So if you click on the photos, you can see here it's linking us directly to the product. And there's also the customization option that it's either going to show on desktop or mobile, or you can let them show on both. All right, let's get it installed. Head on over to the section store in the Shopify app store. You can find it under section store theme sections. I have it installed already. So you're simply going to be clicking on here. And after you've done that, you're going to go back to your Shopify admin area. I'm going to use this little project of mine I have here. Then you're going to click on apps here, open up the section store. Let that one load up, should be done in a second. Perfect. Um, here's a collection of all the sections you own already. That's a few. In my example, you can simply click on sections here. Alrighty, so you're going to scroll down here, and here we have the circle menu. Click on it. I personally own the section already, so the one thing you have to do is get it. Uh, it's a one-time purchase of $9, no hidden subscription fees or anything. Once you buy it, you're going to own it forever. Alrighty. After you've uh, bought that, you should be redirected to the home area of the section store and find the app for the section here in your little collection right here. Here we have it, the circle menu. I'm going to be adding it to the Dawn Live theme. And in the next step, you can simply open up your theme editor. I've done that here already. I'm just going to give it a little reload to make sure the section is actually showing up. Should be there in a second. Got it, perfect, to actually find the section and add it to the page of your choice. You're going to look down here for Add Sectioner. Then you're going to type in SS, which stands for Section Store. And then you can see it here already, the circle menu. You can implement it at every spot of your choice. It's going to take a little bit. Here we have it, the bubble navigation. You're going to pull it up here on top of the collage and to actually add an item you click on that little thing right here select an image and we're going to be using this cap for this example and you can also change the text of that here so here we go ahead then we can also decide what we're going to link it to for this example we're going to link it to a product but you can also link it to a collection or whatever you prefer actually so the product we Linking it to, so let's just do all products in this case. It's just an example, so don't wonder why it's going to link to something else then. And then we're going to head back, click on the bubble navigation again, and here you can do some modifications on the whole block itself, like sample the size on the, on the desktop it's going to have. Then you can change the mobile size as well. So if we head on over here, switch to mobile. You can see we can do some customizations here as well. We can also hide it on mobile or hide it on desktop. For example, if I click that little thing here and then we should switch back to desktop, you can see it's hidden now. But for this tutorial, we're just gonna let it be seen on everything. You can also change the bubble, uh, the watercolor of the bubble. So, for example, you can use the color of your brand or whatever you prefer or whatever you think it's going to stand out the best. And some more modifications we can do is changing the background color and also the padding, so the space we have around the whole section. Alrighty, um, I'm just going to put in all the other ones off screen real quick and then I'm going to see you in a second. Alrighty, we are back. 
with all the products included right now, the last thing we're going to do is actually having a look at it, how it's going to look like. So I'm having it saved up already. I'm going to head on over to my test store, give that a little reload, and it should hopefully appear right underneath that image where we actually put it. And there we have it. Perfect. Um, that was basically it. There is uh, also the link to it, which is going to direct you to the products you actually set it to. In this example, it's a surfboard shop. Um, but yeah, don't get confused with all that. Just put in all the products you think are necessary. And yeah, that was it from my side. And I hope you guys can make use of that.